So now in this section we're going to start looking at now how does this information that we talked about with the step brand, the ramp, and the impulse impact what we do um, with an RC circuit. So take a look at what we have here and hopefully we can immediately use what we just learned to redraw this with this information. So rather than having to switch, rather than having to switch in there, we can now redraw this with a voltage source but instead of calling it V0, we can call it V0 UT. Basically meaning that it turns on at time equals zero. All right. And if I'm looking to find the response across the circuit, really what I'm trying to find is a result across that, across that capacitor. So if you want to go ahead and pretend that there's a ground, you can. It's not strictly necessary because we're just going to use nodal analysis. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. So I'll call this V. And this node is going to be V naught UT. If I want to draw in the currents, current 1, current 2, well, I can say that current 1 is equal to current 2. Anything going in must come out. Using nodal analysis, you can rewrite the first one as V, or sorry, I got backwards, V naught UT minus V over the resistance. And say, okay, well, that's going to be equal to, do you remember resistance or um, current across capacitor is um, C D B D T Like that? Yes, maybe, definitely should remember that. All right, so now we're going to play with that and make some progress. So let's see, if I manipulate some stuff around, I'm going to end up with, um, how about so db dt is equal to, I'm going to just do this, and I'll tell you, I, it's going to make it pretty, that's right. to make it match stuff that we've done before, I'm going to set things up like this. Oops. v not. Um, I'm going to fix that. To be consistent with what your book's doing, instead of v not, I'll call it vs. Okay. That'll be much better. Like that. Good? Fixed it? Okay, great. All right. So now, at time equals zero, or I should say for time greater than zero, we'll get there eventually. For time greater than zero, ut is equal to one, right? So that means that this equation is going to come out to be dv dt is equal to minus V minus Vs over RC. And I can move some things around and get 1 over V minus Vs dv equals negative 1 over RC dt. I can integrate. My time is 0 running to some miscellaneous t. My voltage is V naught running to some miscellaneous V. And then I've got natural log of V minus Vs minus natural log of V naught minus Vs equal to 1 over RC times T. Pretty. Fix up my natural logs. Raise them both to the E, so I end up with this. And remember, tau in my RC circuits was RC. So I've got V minus Vs equals V naught minus Vs. E to the negative T over tau. And finally, I can rewrite that my V of T is equal to Vs plus V naught minus Vs e to the negative t over tau. Woot! And this is valid for t is greater than two. Wonderful. Very exciting, right? All right. So rather than solving this every single time, I'm going to give you the shortcut, or it's another way of thinking about it. This is our complete response. 
Okay, so I want you to look at what happens as t goes to infinity on this equation. This term, what is it going to do? It's going to go to zero, right? As t goes to infinity. So as t goes to infinity, v of t is simply vs. So what we're going to call vs is, is our steady state. Okay, so that's our steady state response. What happens with this circuit and infinity? Okay, and then here, what we're going to call this is our, um, is our transient response. And it's transient because it's decaying, right? I mean, we've got a certain value, and, um, and it's decaying. Pfft, I don't have a better way to say it. Um, the voltage across the, uh, the capacitors is going to change. So um, it's going to change by this, by this decay term that we have out here in front. So any time that you solve these problems, essentially what you're going to do is you are going to figure out, okay, well, what's happening at time equals zero? And at time equals zero, what's my voltage? And you're going to put that in. And then you're going to say, okay, at time equals infinity, what's going to happen? And that's going to be your steady state. So it's actually, the instructions are really straightforward. It's as simple as saying, okay, what happens at t equals zero? What happens at t goes to infinity? Awesome, I'm done. Okay, and of course it's a lot more fun than that. But, I mean, that's your, that's the basic strategies you're going to follow when solving these particular problems. Now, for the step response of an RL circuit, what's kind of nice, I mean, we can go through the whole derivation again. Your book might actually do that. But really what we're looking at for the step response of an RL circuit is we're going to get the exact same thing that we did for an RC circuit. So essentially, but now instead of dealing with voltage, we're dealing with current. So our current is going to be some transient response plus some steady state response. So we've got our transient, which is again going to be our I naught minus our I steady state times e to the negative t over tau. Remember tau though now is going to be L over R. And then our steady state. So it's, it's kind of straightforward. Um, if you want to rewrite it, I'm going to put it like this to make it match the order in our other, in our RCs. And if you want to write it in terms of um, voltages, you know, you can do that as well. That your steady state is going to be your steady state voltage over your resistance plus I, like this. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to solve the exact same problems um, twice um, that we'll have. So um, for the first set of problems, you'll be solving stuff that has a bunch of voltages. For the set of problems, you're going to be solving stuff that has a bunch of currents. But again, the strategy is the same. You want to find the current at time equals zero, and then you want to find the current at time equals infinity and incorporate that information to, um, to, come, up with your, to come up with your solution here.